Now that was definitely not the best thing to see while on safari. A very good friend of mine, Jackie Tablanche, she is a veterinary scientist who has many many years of experience and um, she told me that this is a rectal prolapse. Uh, it's an external rectal prolapse that is quite uncomfortable for that little cub. Now any condition that can cause strain, example diarrhea or constipation or even cystitis can ultimately lead to this protrusion of the rectum through the anus. Young animals with altered intestinal motility due to intestinal parasites and diarrhea are particularly susceptible. Now the prolapse tissue is very swollen and friable and therefore prone to trauma and infection. So that means that this little cup will, will not be able to pass any feces. So you can imagine how difficult it must be for him. Now hopefully in the wild there would be a hyena or something that will put this little guy out of his misery and that might just help him out. Now this tissue will eventually become uh, devitalized and sadly this little guy will succumb to the infection and injuries and he will die. You, there's no, no hope. But um, yeah, hopefully you learned something today. Thanks again to Jackie Tablanche for this valuable input and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Remember to subscribe. Goodbye.